What's going on guys? Welcome back to another World of Tanks Blitz video. My name is Skyworky and today we're going to be reviewing the brand new Y5 T34 tank which is part of the Hybrid Nation um, and it along with two other special Y5 hybrid tanks have been added for a for the uh, Blitz 5th anniversary event. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. All right, guys, so like I said, this is a tank that was added for the event. Um, right here, if you click, if, uh, if you open up Blitz and you see the present on the side, I believe it will start out as a, a purple one for you, and then it'll change color once you reach a specific level. Uh, at level 10, you receive the Y5 T34 tank. This is a permanent tank. It is not something that you uh, lose, I believe. If you sell it, you can only sell it for credits. You can't sell it for gold. It's not collector at the moment anyways. Um, and as you can see, it looks like a prototype tank. So the, I guess the, I'm pretty sure the lore or the background about it is like, it was the prototype technology for the T25 pro, uh, no, T28 prototype and the IS-5, the uh, IS-3 Defender. Um, all that non, all that stuff, fun stuff, was stolen or whatever. That's just the backstory. Um, for now, we're gonna, as you can see, there's an attachment which you receive at level 20 for the uh, Blitz Turns Five event. Um, and so let's take a look at the tank without the attachment. There it is. It looks, it looks either, it, it looks pretty good either way. But obviously, the attachment just adds a little more flair to it. There it is. Um, and it sounds pretty nice too. It sounds like an electric car because I'm pretty sure like these are supposed to be like prototype tanks as in electric tanks. So that's pretty cool. Um, now let's take a look at the stats. Now, uh, first off, this is a tier five tank, so you can only use two provisions. I use the tinned food, which is the hybrid, uh, nation's, uh, like, prov like food provision. Um, and then I also use the protective kit because this thing doesn't have a whole lot of armor. However, yes, you can, if you're angling enough, you can bounce. Um, if you're at like, I'd say a 45 degree angle uh, from this, like, or from this angle and you hit the, the lower, the front, I can't even talk to like, the upper glacis plate, you will usually bounce off. So I've hit some, I've got some pretty nice bounces off that. Um, Let's take a look at the stats. So for the gun, we have the 70, uh, 75mm Gun L1. <laughs> uh, it's 28 tons. The aiming time is 3.1 seconds. Dispersion is 0.347 at 100 meters. Damage per minute is 1347, which isn't bad for tier 7. Or not tier 7, tier 5, you know, and up to, even up to tier 6. If you can pen the tanks at tier 6, you will. And you know, you're not trading damage or trading hits from bigger tier 6 tanks, especially heavy tanks, you can usually take out most people. The reload time, um, with the default reload time, let's take a look, let's uh, remove this for now, and we'll swap to that. The default reload time is 7.77 seconds, however with the tinned food, the reload time goes down to 7.66 seconds, and then when using a gun rammer it goes down to 7.1 seconds. Let's take a look again. Seven point oh seven point thirteen seconds. My bad. Uh, the average penetration for armor piercing is one hundred and ten millimeters. APCR is one hundred and sixty, and high explosive is thirty eight. Alpha damage is one sixty for AP, one twenty for APCR, and two hundred for high explosive. Gun depression is uh, or gun elevation rather is twenty degrees up and ten degrees down, which is quite nice, especially considering, as you can tell this is a T, uh, Y5 T34. So <laughs> one would think it's modeled after a Russian tank, you know? So that's good for a, um, I guess a Russian ripoff. <laughs> now let's, um, concealment, uh, let's take a look at that. Concealment percentage upon firing while stationary, it's 10% chance. I, I don't really understand that stat at the moment. I've never really looked at the stats lately. Um, or at the new at the different stat menu. I'm my bad. 
but for the turret we have, or for the tank itself, 700 hit points base. Uh, front, the frontal armor is 55 millimeters, sides are 55 millimeters, and the rear is 55 millimeters. Turret reverse speed is 49.63 degrees per second. With, um, with the tin food, um, with I believe they might. And then um, if you use improved assembly, then you can boost the H HP up to 745. My bad for just, you know, stopping. Um, now let's take a look. View range is 267.4 meters, which isn't bad. You know, it's a medium, it's a, I guess a ripoff Russian medium tank. Now the engine horsepower is 520 um, horsepower, which isn't bad. Chance of fire and impact, however, is 20%, which it's one that's one out of every five shots so you know that can cause you some problems the top speed is 50 kilometers an hour forwards and 20 kilometers an hour backwards on even terrain so flat ground average speed is 35 kilometers an hour so this is taking into account like small hills or any change in speed and then catching up power to rate ratio is 18.5 horsepower per ton and then the hold traverse speed is 43.03 uh, degrees per second once again with tinned food. Now let's remove and take a look. So right now, if I were to put standard fuel on, it would increase all of these. It would increase engine power, the horsepower by 15.6%, uh, 15.6 horsepower, my bad. Uh, hull traverse speed by 1.27 degrees a second. Tur traverse speed 1.47 degrees per second and then the power to rate ratio up by 0.5, so it would become 19 horsepower per ton. Um, however, you know, I prefer to usually have a higher DPM um, than like slightly faster, I guess, turning speeds, especially considering you can just use the, um, the improved control module in the equipment for plus 3.91 degrees per second. Now, um, it can hold 48 ammunition. This is my loadout. I run with 25 AP, 15 APCR, and 8 high explosive. I tend not to use AP, uh, APCR, my bad. <laughs> I seem to be saying that a lot. Um, I tend not to use APCR just because most times you will be in a tier 5 match unless you have the battles set to only supremacy. Then, you know, you'll usually get into tier 5 to 6 battles. So uh, for now, we are just gonna, I think run into a training room and i think i'll be right back all right guys so as you can see we are on black goldfield and um wait a second if you listen you can hear like a slight crackling and that is from the nuclear reactor um quote unquote i i don't <laughs> I, I suppose it's supposed to be a real nuclear reactor maybe it's just supposed to be a motor i don't know but this tank is very aesthetically pleasing. Um, I think I just used that word correctly. Don't, don't, don't quote me on that. But already, you know, you can see the gun depression, the usefulness of it. You can peek over ridge lines, and you know, obviously, there are some limits to it. You know, it's not going to be incredible. It's not Stir, Emil, or Dicker Max level. But uh, with the armor, you know, you can do some decent stuff. You know, if you come up like this. At this angle, um, mostly hiding your lower glacis uh, plate, and you are, and if you position the hole, kind of, um, I want to say this is about a 15 degree angle, something like that, then you can uh, you can actually get some good shots off, and then bounce some off of the uh, off of the. Let's see if if you can see my mouse, then you can bounce some off of the uh, upper gla upper glacis plate. Uh, so now we're just gonna head on down to the lower area. Uh, 7.1 seconds reload time. Technically, in the stats, it is 7.13 seconds. However, you know these don't. It doesn't really take into account the uh, past the tenths section or tenths number. So we're just gonna head on over here and I guess count how long it takes to get to the other side. So I suppose. We can start from about here. So, 
this is roughly where you would be spawning if you uh, were on the other team. So let's start in five, four, three, two, one, move. All right, so getting, obviously, you know, we did have to turn there and that slowed it down a little bit, but on flat terrain, it does pick up speed fairly quickly. Um, after a few seconds, you know, the first two to three seconds, if you're not on even terrain, when you spawn in, it can make it a little bit difficult, but if you, you know, we're already at 50 kilometers an hour, if we go straight for a few seconds, um, you know, looks like it's been <laughs> about 30 seconds, almost, so, so yeah, it's been 40 seconds and we're already to the other side, I mean, this is a medium tank, it's not, it's not really a T60, uh, T62 or a, uh, you know, Object 140 level, like speed level, speed wise, but it can get the job done at tier 5, so I'm just going to include some battles that I've used this in, and um, yeah, sorry if, oh, <laughs> we just drove into that rock, um, I promise I'm going to pass driver's ed once I take it, guys. Don't worry, don't don't worry about me. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, once again, stay tuned for the matches I have of the Y5 T34.
Thank you. 